What's down here? I forget. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is all that sort of stuff. Oh, I love this. I love this part of the game. I'm gonna go back because uh, I think I missed something up here. That is not the correct way to go, and is therefore a secret. Or well, not a secret, just a side path. I think I've mentioned that before. I don't like going through. So oh my god, this. So fucking terrifying. There's nowhere to hide except for that place up there. You've just gotta. You've just gotta. Oh no! I, mi I missed. Yeah. No! No, really! He's just so, so silent, and if you notice, he always faces you. So if I walk over here, he's just facing me again. But he's completely silent until he starts walking. So if you're really not paying attention, and you walk into this room, since the camera wasn't positioned so that I could, like, see him, I would have walked forward. In fact, I remember walking forward and then hearing the thing, and I'm like, What? Oh my god, he's right in front of me, and this is a really small room. Ah! And I walked right back out the door. What do I do? I guess I just... <laughs> I guess they give you a bit of leeway here. Let you, um... You know, let him not see you unless... You can see it, or something. Now what's... Oh, yeah! The eyes! You laughing eyeballs, how'd you laugh? How? Come on, give me a secret. What do I do? Do I kill the little ones now? I oh, know I don't. I just I just get the big one. Yeah, this is cool. This whole four eyes block bullshit. Something about the fact that there's just like four different coloured things and they're they're laughing eyeballs. I mean it's like stereoscopic stereotypical spooky scary eyeballs that laugh at uh, evilly. But there's something about them. Something about them that is so cool. Probably because like that one there, you know, you're you're in, encouraged to not go where the night is because it's scary for a kid to be on the floor. And since the night is near the door, when you start, you go to the other door, which is where that red eyeball was. So you go there, you find a red eyeball, and then you defeat it and find that it's... Whoa. That's not a good idea. Okay, I get off here. You defeat the red eyeball, and it shows you a place that you haven't seen yet. So you're like, oh, okay, I guess i got to find red eyeballs, or uh, those different coloured eyeballs, down in the dungeon. So, you know, that's, that's just what I'm saying. Uh, I can't. Alright. Wait. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Gotcha. See, really, it isn't that difficult. As long as you get the first one fully charged, and then the second one straight afterwards fully charged, without releasing it too early like that. As long as you do that, then you're you're great. You win. Because they can't get to you that quickly. But if you miss the second shot, it's like, oh my god, you're going to be excommunicated. Okay. Obviously, I've got to jump down here. Ah, I can't see. I can't. Ah, no. It's still nerve wracking, even though I'm pretty good. You know, I have, you know, adult reflexes. Or adult. Uh, what's the thing? Hand eye coordination. I didn't even aim. So, yeah. So, if you don't kill the red one, you kill the blue one, and then you definitely know you gotta kill some eyes. So, let's go kill the others. Where are they? Well, the way we came here was jumping over pots, so we just need to make our way back. Um, can I? Don't think I can jump there. 
I guess I'll try, I mean. No? Silly Millie. And a leap. What is that black hole? See that? Oh no, I don't want to go down. I want to go anywhere but down. What do I do? Did I just fuck it up? Maybe if I just jump on this again. Whoa. Alright. So I gotta do it fast. I gotta go. I gotta go jumping. So, you clear out all this because it's the way you went. But it's not the first way you could went. You could have went the other way, which I will show you, obviously, because I'm playing the game to completion. That's right, Harry Potter, completion. I'm gonna complete all the games I start. See, so yeah, we came here, and now we come all the way back. And instead of going on the cauldrons, we go in the door. To this other place. I'm just thinking, like from a game designer's perspective, what place are you likely to go to first? You're probably likely to go through this door first and explore this area. So those other two eyes, those were like you have to go back to find them. Looks like you find this. It's obviously the green eye. So you've done the green eye, you can just go back out, but look, there's more. So you want to go down, you want to get the... Oh, save game. I want to get these beans. How many beans have I got? I've got full beans. Alright, I don't need to worry about beans. Alright, let's see. Uh, I guess we'll go through here. Alright, so this is the same place, so... You could either go up through that door there, go around and come out here, which is just going back. There you go, there's a little passageway. Oh god, I remember these blue guys. I don't really remember them knowing what they were though, like at first I thought they were just some weird blue crab, but they're turtles. Also yes, slippy sliding. Have I done Diagon Alley yet? I love Diagon Alley in this game. Oh no, I think I might have. I don't know, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to watch my own let's play, that's weird. Yeah. Here it is. That was actually a lot easier than I remember. Probably because the old uh the turtles used to be kind of difficult. And surprisingly, I unlocked everything without finding snick. Hey, okay, it is kind of difficult because you can't you can't stop Believing, have it on a feeling. Well, here's a frig. I just love that animation. Like, whoa, whoa! He's trying so hard to not go in that direction. Okay. So this leads out back here, and I assume one of these up places is where the place is. I can't really remember. But I do remember there's a slidey bit soon. So that's the door for the thing, and then what's up here? Is there anything up here? Apparently not. Didn't see anything as I flew. Also, who keeps this bookcase here? <laughs> 